Next speaker is Hector Toledo, Aspergillus, a lovely mole that can kill you. Nutritional immunity is a defense mechanism of our bodies. It protects us against infections, ultimately starving invading organisms to death. Let's take Aspergillus fumigatus as an example. It is a fungus, a lovely mole that usually feeds on that long poor sandwich for going in the fridge. Its spores, suspended in the air, are inhaled by us humans who might develop a severe and deadly lung infection in immunosuppressed individuals. And I want to be perfectly clear about this. There is danger only to patients with a non-functional immune system. So you can keep calm and breathe easy. Aspergillus usually lives in the soil. Why there? Because of environmental conditions acidic pH, and a great nutrient availability. The soil is like a free buffet, whereas human lungs rather seem a barren, desolate desert filled with dangers. In human lungs, pH is neutral instead of acidic, and the vast majority of nutrients are locked in our cells. Nutritional immunity, remember? Aspergillus is then forced to adapt its genetic expression to this new environment and literally rob nutrients from our body. One important nutrient is zinc. Well, I know, it's not quite a popular nutrient, not the first one that comes to mind, but in small quantities it's essential for all living organisms. In fact, we are certain that without zinc, Aspergillus is incapable of infecting lungs. Aspergillus scavenge zinc from human tissues, mainly through a membrane protein, ZRFC, which is only expressed when Aspergillus is growing under neutral conditions and there is no zinc around, just as happened in human lungs. We have discovered that ZRFC expression depends on several regulators. One of them is PAC-C, which uh, allows the expression of uh, ZRFC in neutral pulmonary conditions and inhibit it under acidic soil ones. And why is this important? Because now we understand some of the molecular mechanisms that allow aspergillus to grow in human lungs, we can develop drugs which interfere with the zinc uptake system. Thus, we will be able to uh, fight against aspergillus infections more effectively and keep it out of our lands, where it should remain as a lovely sandwich eater. Thank you.